It was very much a by-the-numbers show. I'm John Rentham with my review of New Japan Pro Wrestling's World Tag League Night 4 event. And I know what I said at the beginning of my last New Japan review that I was going to take one World Tag League and one Best Super Junior show, Human Sent to beat them together, present one video to you all, and just do that until December 6th when they determine who would go to the finals on the 11th. Because I didn't think I was going to have all that much time, I decided to find time and just keep up with the individual reviews. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. What do you guys think of the tournament, though? Answers in the comments, please. I will have point holes at the end of this review as well. Unfortunately, this show is just kind of basic, so there ain't going to be a ton to talk about. And there were a couple good things, and a couple things where I was like, okay, yeah, this was just kind of there. Yuji Nagata and Yotsuji versus Kojima and Hanma. Kojima and Nagata moving really well at their ages with all the miles and all the tours that they've done. It's always great to see them in the ring. Honestly, though, Hanma really does need to retire. Yotsuji, he got to get a lot of good hits in on Kojima and Hanma. Even got to counter the Cozy Lariat, but eventually did fall to said Cozy Lariat. One, two, three. Not a bad match. Usual fair where you get a young lion taking the pin. And then we get Shingo and Sonata versus Bad Luck Bale and Chase Owens. I nearly fell asleep trying to talk about Chase Owens. So basically, Sonata can coast and still, you know, be great. And Shingo mainly carried the load here, and that was pretty much what kept the match any bit of interest in, because, I'm sorry, Fale can't really do anything. He, he just fucking can't. It's the weight, it's the, you know, the injuries that he's had in Chase. Not that he's bad in the ring, but he's just very bland. Uh, bridge pin, uh, you know, by Sonata pins Chase. That was good stuff. That bridge pin by Sonata is fucking beautiful. Goddamn great. And Shingo really did carry a lot of this match. We then get Hanare's, uh, Tanahashi and Hanare versus uh, Hiroki Goto and Yoshihashi. Tanahashi needs to retire soon. I, god damn it, I mean, I, I, I don't mean to harp on it. I've said it in other reviews. i said it for a number of months. But just god damn it, he is so fucking beat. And I credit him for wanting to continue to wrestle. He deserves to see the, uh, you know, reap the rewards of all his you know, carrying New Japan on his back. I mean, you know, along with a few others, he deserves to see his success. But God damn it, his knees are shot. They just fucking are. Hanari got targeted for a while. Um, Tana got, you know, his legs uh, wrenched because, of course, he got them wrenched because everybody hates Tanahashi's knees. And realistically, Hanari got in some good shots as well, but uh, eventually fell to a double-team move, a uh, variation of GTR, and, you know, he got pinned. So, of course, he did. Hanare seems to be the one taking the pins the most. And I hope he does get a pretty decent push in 2021. He really has improved. Uh, we then get Evil and Yujiro versus Yano and Ishii. I wanted to care, but unfortunately Yujiro and Evil were making that difficult. Again, not that they're bad in the ring, but I just don't really care about the team. And oh yeah, the evil dick is out there to choke you from behind. Oh, Japan... And the usual Yano antics and Bullet Club uh, BS. We get a lot of exposed buckle shots, uh, dick choking from behind, and then low blows. Everything is evil pins Yano. See what I meant by there not being all that much to this show? I mean, there's some good, there were some good parts, but just a lot of it was just blase. And then we get uh, the Great Okab, as I'm calling them, Great Okan and Jeff Cobb versus Finn Juice, David Finley, and Juice Robinson. Cobb pretty much has been carrying the goddamn load for his team. Ocon, it's not that he's a bad athlete. The gimmick is shit, and I, ju I just don't care for it. And the, whoa, whoa, you know, that kind of stuff. God, he sounds like a freaking seagull that's having a seizure. Good lord. Um, And then eventually, one, one cool part was the end. And Juice and Finn, they did, you know, good stuff here. Yeah, like they usually do, because they're a really good team. And, you know, you can tell they're actually friends, and they work well together. But where, uh, I believe, Finley tried to go for the stunner out of the corner. And then uh, Jeff Cobb caught him and then hit toward the islands just out of nowhere. Very impressive. One, two, three. And then we get Gorilla's Destiny with Jado versus Dangerous Techers, Tai Chi and Zack Sabre Jr. This one, I think they spent two minutes in the ring of the first ten. They were just out on the stage or out, you know, around the ringside area, which was kind of funny. Once it got back in the ring, some good counters and some good wrestling. And then we get a ref distraction, and a ref bump, and then we get uh, Tai Chi choking with the mic stand, and uh, Jado choking with his big stick. We then get uh, Tangaloa again laid out with the stick by Zack Sabre Jr., and then the iron fingers that Tai Chi got from Izka, and he ended up pinning Zack Sabre Jr. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, that's the end of that. Let's just get to the point totals, why don't we? I really hope night five on Tuesday is better. Chase, 
Jason Foley and Tanahashi and Hanare are both at zero. We then get Yano and Ishii at um, Yano and Ishii at four. We then get uh, the Great Okab at six. We get Goto and Yoshihashi, Zack Saber Jr. and Taichi at four each. Evil and Yujiro, Sonata and Shingo, and Girls of Destiny at six each, and then Finjuice at three, four. That wouldn't be how that works, you know, unless you're going to draw it. Then you get one. Anyway, agree, disagree, what I said, like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Rithlin. I'll see you soon.